Hey guys, and welcome back to Flex Tips. I'm Tanner, Vice President here at the Flex Network, and today I'll be helping you with one of my favorite important key features on YouTube, and that is the significance of video titling. Let's get into it. Now, you may be saying, Tanner, video titling is easy. You just slap some words up there to name a video. Guys, in reality, video titling is actually one of the most important features of your video. It's usually the first thing a searcher sees, and it represents your video with more detail than the thumbnail, which is a whole different topic, and we'll get to that in another video. Now, there are three things a title needs to accomplish. Number one, subject and category. The searcher needs to know what the video is about. If someone is searching for, let's say, Battlefield 3 content, they need to be sure that the video subject is Battlefield 3. Two. Brief details. Alright, so the searcher knows what medium the video is covering, but not what it's focusing on. We'll stick with the Battlefield 3 example. A YouTuber is searching for Battlefield 3 tank gameplay, something specific within the range of Battlefield 3. This means they're most likely to click on a video title that makes it clear it focuses on tank gameplay. And last but not least, 3. Professionalism and clarity. Your title needs to look organized, professional, and easy to read left to right. This includes correct grammar and spelling. I know, I know. Here's two video titles describing the same thing. One is completely lacking professionalism and clarity. The other is near perfect. Can you see the difference? Pretty clear, isn't it? If you saw these side by side, I think we all know which one you would click. Title 1 looks professional and organized. All main words excluding articles and prepositions like on, by, and the are capitalized, as they should be in a divining title. Another helpful feature is the colon after Battlefield 3, letting the searcher know the following falls under Battlefield 3. Now you've got the basics, let's cover some extra stuff. Other title features, like episode numbers, should go after a series name, like so. EP is a universally accepted shorthand reference to episode. Titles of videos in a series should remain uniform and follow guidelines, so only the episode number and or specific title changes between episodes, just like the following example. Okay, that's it. Now you're on your way to being a titling pro. Thanks for coming and staying for Flex Tips, and I'll see you again next time. Remember to like the video and comment with your feedback down below. If you have any further questions, just leave them in the comments, and we'll most likely reply. Thanks again.